this video is an hour long coming up. It is a long video, um, but if you want to get your head around uh, uh, timing, note values, and how it all fits together, um, I just ask you to bear with it through the end, and uh, it will be an hour well spent. If you're wanting a silver bullet or something really quick, um, this isn't it. This is a one hour video. I've spent a lot of, quite a lot of time putting it together um, and uh, uh, I, I think it kind of will hit the spot if you're interested in, um, in, in, in getting the, the basics of this all in one place. One hour, that's, that, that's what this video will take. So either enjoy it or go and watch something else because it might not be uh, uh, an hour you want to spend. But I, you know, I, I don't think it will be. Signatures and tempo, the note, the sudden note types. So there's this brief, and he walks into a bar as whole notes tend to do. He pays a quarter note for a beer, pays his entry of a whole note, and takes a look at the dress code, Tony's Bar, men no shirt, no service, women no shirt, free drinks. Well, he soon had a semi breathe when he noted after a minim that he may have half a chance with the very cute crotchet at the bottom quarter of the bar. He was all of a quaver, especially when he noted that she was with her friend. Oh, and some friend too. All of a sweet sixteenth, double the trouble. Semi-quavers all round. Well, it took the crotchet all of a 30 second to note that the dirty old demi semi quaver was hitting on her. You must be at least 64. I know a hemi demi semi quaver when I see one. If I miss a beat whilst playing in three, would you care? point being that the notes all have names um, and the names correspond to uh, different divisions of time. Um, time, time signatures and tempo, rhythms, uh, it's about patterns um, and we name those patterns for different things. And I'm using an analogy of the uh, music notes bank so welcome to the music notes bank there you have our piggy bank of notes um, different values of notes and our currency is time our currency is tempo it's number of beats per minute that's uh, that's that that's the, the the time for us time is money time is tempo uh, the value of our notes and the different divisions, um, the pounds, shillings and pence, or the, the dollars, quarters, dimes and cents of our time are um, uh, basically uh, referenced back to tempo or beats per minute. So here's the only uh, paper money note that we have in our bank, and it's the, the whole note. Now the interesting thing about the whole note is it's called a semi-breathe, um, semi denoting half. Um, I asked this question of a friend the other day and looked it up as well. Uh, and there is such a thing as a breathe and a whole note actually lasts for two whole notes or a breathe is two whole notes. Um, a, uh, a whole note is called a semi-breathe. Um, so now you know. Uh, but this is our basic unit of currency and that is the whole note otherwise known as the semi breathe um,
our next unit of currency is the half note, which is the um, uh, which you'll see in a moment, but it's got a hollow round bit at the bottom. Um, so the half note, uh, and then the next unit of currency is the quarter note, which you see here. There's your quarter note, which is the black note with the stem on it. Um, we can get change out of uh, out of our half note um, or out of our quarter note. We get two two eighth notes back for a, for a quarter note. Uh, here's our eighth note coin. Uh, you can see it has the flag, which uh, distinguishes it as um, our eighth. And then two flags is a sixteenth note. So in a quarter note, um, you two eighth notes or uh, four sixteenth notes. Um, and you work it through and you, 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 you figure all that out. And on top of the sixteenth notes, you also have thirty second notes and sixty fourth notes. Um, at the end of my little story, um, sixty fourth notes are hemi demi semi quavers. And the 32nd notes are demi semi quavers, um, and the 16th notes are semi quavers. Uh, so, th those are our units of currency, and um, uh, we can use anything from 64th to half notes uh, to get change for our whole note and uh, our whole note is worth four beats our half note is worth two beats our quarter note is worth one beat i.e. a quarter of a whole note is four beats uh, eighth note half a beat sixteenth note quarter of a beat so you can see how that divides down on the, the diagram there but how big are they uh, you know, that that was my big question in, in timing, and, and it's um, it's kind of hinted at or brushed around or, or taken uh, taken for granted um, that everybody will figure this out, but I didn't, um, not actually until a few weeks ago, um, and that is that um, the, 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 the there's a, a variable exchange rate for our notes. Um, and the exchange rate is expressed um, in beats per minute. Um, so the value of our notes goes up as well as down. So um, when you're investing in the in the uh, time bank um, uh, for your notes here, just be aware that the value of the notes go up and down according to the uh, tempo market. Um, and uh, here we are. Your notes are valued in the tempo market. Um, and uh, here you see some existing so, so, some valuations. Uh, quarter note equals 120 beats per minute. Quarter note equals 100 uh, beats per minute. A half note equals 50 beats per minute. There. Moderate rock uh, quarter note equals 120 beats per minute. So think of them. You know your 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 currency and your time signature. Um, is set out with the exchange rate in the metronome mark, usually at the top of the piece of music or with some um, uh, Italian uh, name like uh, Allegro for fast. 156 beats per, per minute is pretty fast. A quarter note is 156 beats a minute. Uh, metronome mark, Mazel's metronome mark. Um, the biggest metronome is in in the world is in Prague. Um, I haven't put a photograph here for you. You can look at look, look it up. It's on on the site of Stalin's old statue, and uh, uh, that's the biggest metronome in the world. Um, I've got my own little metronome here, um, which might be a familiar sight, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate a bit later uh, an online digital uh, metronome, which is fantastic, uh, known as the Bounce Metronome. So, our notes are valued in the tempo market, and um, we value our notes um, according to this principle. 
how many, that's how many notes of which kind at which tempo, um, for how long. So uh, how many is the top number on the time signature, of which kind is the bottom number on the time signature, at which tempo is the uh, denotes a quarter note or a half note or whatever it is in the metronome mark at so many beats per minute. Um, and so there you see it's a variable exchange rate uh, according to the tempo, the value of your notes in your piggy bank go up and down. <laughs> Here's an example on a piece of music, heavy rock, one quarter note equals 156 beats per minute. Okay, so let's work out how that's divided up here. Um, look at this first bit here, you've got two eighth notes, an eighth and an eighth, which adds up to a quarter note, and then you've got another three groupings of these, so that gives you four quarter notes in all, um, because you've got four lots of two eighth notes, um, and that equals four, four quarter notes. So there are four um, quarter note beats in that bar, and that's four four time. And each quarter note is worth 156 over 60 seconds so each quarter note is, is that long um, I can't do that in my head but, but um, 60 and 20 uh, 156 beats per minute um, quarter notes 156 quarter note beats per minute this is a 3-4 time signature, and I've worked out at the top of the page here, you can see how, how this one is uh, calculated. Um, there are 76 quarter note beats per minute. Um, now the quarter notes there, and there are three of each kind in each bar. So why does this add up to three quarter notes? Well, that's a quarter note, that's easy, we know that. This is a dotted quarter note, which means a quarter note and half as much again. Half of a quarter note is an eighth note. So that's a quarter and an eighth note. And this one here is an eighth note. So that eighth and that eighth together, two eighths equals one quarter. We've got a quarter there, that's two quarters and a quarter there. So that's three, three quarter notes in that bar and each of those quarter notes is worth um, 60 seconds divided by 76. So there's 76 beats per minute, which is 60 seconds. And so that's how big each of those quarter notes is. Uh, so counting and strumming that we need our metronome, um, which I set at 60 beats per minute, just to keep to round numbers and keep it slow. You start slow and work up when you're practicing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, here's our whole note. So that's uh, last four, four beats. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, right, min and beats, they're half notes um, in four four time. Um, if we strum the half notes, it's one, two, three, 
four. So one, two, three, four. 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 Strumming on the crotchet notes of the quarter notes in 4-4 four, four is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. You've got to wait for the metronome. Doing it slow, it's, it's quite, um, it takes quite a bit of discipline. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Next up, strumming on the quaver beat or the eighth notes. So this is where you start getting your ups and downs. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is another day um, strumming on eighth notes, um, which is where you get your ups and your downs. Got the metronome here. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Down up 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 one and two and three and four and one and two one and two and three and four and so that's uh strumming on the quarter notes and then next we have the um, strumming a uh, half bar of quarter notes and a half bar of eighth notes so that's one two three and four and one two three and four and so if we put the metronome on one two three and four and one two three four one two three four one and two and three and four and one two 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 three and four and One last thing, strumming and counting 16th notes, this example here, uh, this is where you have um, the uh, bar is divided into 8th notes and 16th notes, 1 and, 2 iana, 3 and, 4 iana, so obviously 1, 2, 3, 4 is four, would be quarter notes, one and is an eighth note, is eighth notes. One and two iana, is that, that's, that would be sixteen if you had one iana, two iana, three iana, four iana. So um, if we clap this one out, just to practice, if you haven't got a guitar handy, one and two and three and four and one and two iana, three.
C. Here we are on B. Here we are in A. Here we are green. Bus. Here we are on G. Here we are on F. Here we are on E. Every green bus drives. Bus. That's the stave. So, what other notes can we find in no nature? Oh, this looks like a good note. Where should we put this note? Uh, let's put this note on C. We can put it on C here. Or we can put it on the face, F, A, C. Or we can put it here, C. So let's take our, our note here. And it's a big round one. A big round one with a hole in the middle is a whole note. Let's make a hole in the middle. Make a hole in the middle. Just make it just sticks here like this. We are. A whole note with a hole in the middle. That's a whole note. A whole note 
lasts for four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How quick? For that we need beats per minute. A whole note with a hole in the middle and a whole note is called a semi-breathe. With a hole in the middle, with a stick, and that's called a minim, or a half note. A whole note with a hole in the middle, a whole note with a hole in the middle, but with a stick is a half note, a minim. If we get rid of the hole in the middle and cover in the note, so that the note is all, there's no hole, it's all covered in. So that's a black note now, a black note with a stick. That's a quarter note. A quarter note lasts for one beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's a whole note. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's a quarter note. Well, what's half of a quarter note? A qu half of a quarter note is an eighth note. For that. We need a flag. So, if we put a flag on the top here, that becomes a quaver or an eighth note. An eighth note lasts for half a beat. And we count eighth notes one and two and three and four and half of an eighth note is a sixteenth note. Two flags. A whole note with the middle filled in, a stick and two flags is a sixteenth note. That's right, that's a sixteenth note. Ah. Three flags is a thirty-second note. four flags and that is a 64th note. Phew, that was hard work. Oh. oh, I've got notes on my t-shirt too. Oh look, the quarter notes. I've got a treble clef, quarter note, F, A, C, E, that's a A, that's a C, I think that's a ledger line, like we made with the stave. Mm. Let's go and see what other notes we can find in the garden. And a hole in the middle, that's a whole note. And a whole note lasts for four beats, as we said. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If that's hollow, if we see that as a, a whole note with a hole in the middle, with a stick, that is a half note, or a minim. Let's see what else we can find. 
Well, well, it looks like we're in luck. It looks like the pile of sticks had a party last night. The music is still in the air. What's this one? I've got a, a basketball. So that's a, that's a full round bit at the bottom. We've got a stick. And what's that fork telling us? Well, that's four flags. That was a 64th note. I expect that was a fast song. You can imagine all the sticks dancing around very quick to 64th notes. What's happening up here? Oh, the frisbee was having a dance as well. What's the frisbee doing? Ah, well, he's a, a coloured in round bit at the bottom and then a stick with no flags. He's a quarter note. And then what have we got up here? Ah, we've got some trampoline springs here. And what have they made with the watering can hose? Ah, three flags, those three springs. Well, that's a 32nd note, a stick and a coloured in one. See what fun you can have making notes with things you find in your garden. There are notes everywhere in nature. Hear that? Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. Here comes the car, he's a big long note. One, two, three, four. Well, the car's a whole note. Well, that's all from Notes in Nature this week. I've got a lot of wood to chop. I wonder what tunes I'll be whistling with the birds. Welcome to this video on um, the uh, noteness of notes, or rhythm, tempo, uh, time, notes, etc. Um, notes get their value from a combination, as you can see on the screen here, of beats per minute, the type of note uh, that the beats per minute are based on, and then the divisions of that note into uh, fractions of itself. Um, so the, the notes have a kind of a floating exchange rate. Um, on this example on the screen here, uh, one quarter note equals 60 beats per minute um, and how that gets divided is um, in each measure there are four quarter notes so the type of notes on the bottom of the time signature here uh, so that's which kind the top note is how many so there's four here four quarter notes at 60 beats per minute which means that each beat lasts for one second and each bar lasts for four seconds. One, two, three, four. So if we put the metronome on, uh, play. one, two, three, four, one, two, three. here. Now, working with a metronome, or working with bounce metronome, uh, this is excellent by the way, bounce metronome, it, it's free for the taster version which I have here and then there's a professional version which you can do all sorts of 3D animations with different um, uh, 
different things going on, take a look at the website and you'll see all of that. Um, it's a wonderful tool. Um, but if I just set the this metronome here to 60 beats per minute, uh, there we are. Now, working with a metronome where, where you haven't got it sort of graphically for you, um, you get this to work with. Now, actually, when you're just uh, using the click as a beat, um, that's fairly self-explanatory. It gets more difficult to envisage what to do with the click. Um, if you want to then divide your bar down, um, still in 4-4 time, but actually strumming your eighth notes, um, which on the screen looks like this. King C, beat quarter notes and eighth notes, which gives us uh, one and two and three and four and. As you can see, that divides the uh, bar up into eight divisions, they're eighth notes, um, but you still have one, two, three, four. So on the bounce metronome, if we just uh, take that first. easier to practice with the bounce metronome than with the regular metronome. Let's do it again.
So let's just try this again. sound faster um, but the beats per minute or the metronome mark denotes the pulse uh, which is the accented beat um, and so on there you'll notice I was accenting the one or on occasion I was accenting the one and also the three um, so that's that's strumming straight quarter notes in 4-4 four four time at 60 beats per minute. So we can change that um, tempo, see how it sounds. Um, let's take it at 90. That's 90. I'll put this on 90 as well. Sixteenth notes. 
Now, 16th notes, um, there are, you can see on the bottom here, one, two, three, four 16th notes in a quarter note. Um, and so, uh, to count the 16th notes, it's one E and A, two. So that's four subdivisions of the quarter note. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. Um, so if you do that for a whole bar, it's 1, it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So uh, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. That's a 16th note strum. So, uh, your 16th notes are actually going at 360 beats per minute, which is, which is, has that not changed? At 90 it would have been 360, uh, 490s at 360. 60 beats per minute is 240, which is still very quick. Um, so let's uh, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. slowly and working up, I mean you might, to get those eighth notes, want to just take the beats per minute right down to 30 beats, like so. Accented beat, which is the quarter note in this case, and you can divide that quarter note up however you please. Um, and if you divide it into uh, bigger notes, i.e., half notes or um, whole notes, uh, 
it will be slower and if you divide it into smaller notes you can fit more of them in and therefore it will feel faster. Um, on this video I'm not going to do uh, the other way of dividing them which is uh, triple eighth notes uh, which are counted um, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, where you have uh, three eighth notes uh, squeezed into the space of a quarter note um, and that gives a triplet feel. Um, just moving then on to just re-emphasizing this point of how big the notes are, um, you can um, change the, um, the note that gets the beat. The best way to do that is to note at 6-8 time. Um, and you'll see that in 6-8 time, the note that gets the, the beat is an eighth note, and this, this note here in the metronome mark has changed to an eighth note um, in straight. So, in 6-8 time, you have dotted quarter notes and eighth notes uh, in this strum pattern. Um, a dotted quarter note is a quarter note plus half as much again, that's an eighth. So, um, uh, so that makes the three eighth notes. dotted quarter notes, eighth notes and sixteenth notes, that's that division, uh, which starts getting into more complicated theory about um, how in six and eight, six eight notes you get these dotted um, eighth notes um, cropping up, uh, which really we don't want to get into that too much. Um, uh, six eight is counted here. One and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and, a, and that's counting the six eighth notes. One and a two. So which is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. One. So you can see that's an eighth note. An eighth note. So six eighth notes. So eighth notes. Uh, what we're dealing with, there are six in a bar, and in this example, uh, that would be at 30 beats per minute. Um, let's just put it up to um, 60 beats per minute um, and have a listen to how it sounds. Essentially, you know, the obvious question is what's the difference between that and 3 4 time? Um, well, the answer to that is um, very little in effect, but it's a question of feel. Um,
So certain time signatures tend to be associated with, with different, um, different types of music. 3-4 is known as waltz time, so that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, it's a bit more swayy, whereas 6-8 is a bit more sort of kind of laid back and, and jazzy, I, I guess you'd say. And uh, I think that's it for the bounce metronome um, for this, yes. Uh, people usually say the quarter note gets the beat. Now, for me, that never actually meant anything. Um, the bumper sticker of what we're doing here is actually, uh, if you think about this, how many of which kind at what tempo or speed. When you have those three bits of information, you can understand then uh, any time signature. Um, so in 4-4, four four, which we have here, uh, the top number uh, tells you how many um, you have of each kind. Uh, the bottom one is which kind, so that's quarter notes. So you've got four quarter notes in each bar. Well, that still doesn't tell you how big they are um, or what that means. So you have to look at the metronome mark or the directions for playing, uh, which here we've got a quarter note equals 60 beats per minute. Um, so now this bit of the screen down here actually shows us what that means. Um, 60 quarter note beats every minute. So um, 60 quarter notes each minute. Um, there, are, there are four quarter notes each bar, uh, which means that each uh, quarter note will last for one second. Uh, which means that each bar is four seconds long uh, and therefore in each minute each minute uh, you will actually have 15 bars um, by, by this estimation so and then those four those four quarter notes add up to a whole note so that's how many that's uh, four there are four beats of which kind quarter notes and a, there there are 60 quarter note beats per minute so um, in 4/4 four, four time that will sound like this two three four one two three four one two, three, four. Strumming that will be three, four. basic skinny on this. Uh, 